wala ali wa sahbihi wa sallama ma ba'da habtu fi Allah we have to understand that as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said and first Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa ma umiru illa li ya'budu Allah mukhlisin lahu din that Allah has not commanded except that they worship him alone with sincerity the worship purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in ma'mala biniya verily actions are tied to the intentions letting us know that all of our actions in Islam are tied to in our intentions and will be rewarded in accordance with that intention bi idnillah ta'ala as long as it is in agreement with two criterion sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as an act of worship and in accordance with the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam ahabbat fi Allah if the whole dunya as the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said law law ijtama an yanfa'ku bi shay'in lam yanfa'ku illa bi shay'in qad katab Allah ta'ala lak wa law ijtama and yudurruka bi shay lam yudurruk lam yudurruka illa bi shay kat katab Allah ta'ala alayk the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that if the whole world gathered together to uh to to aid you they couldn't aid you except for what Allah has written for you and if the whole world came together to oppose you they cannot harm you except with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for you so speaking the truth habitullah striving your best having sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refuting the mistakes of individuals this is from the deen of islam we have this from the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the hajr uh his hajr that he cut off those sahabi radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in like ka'ab bin malik for their not following the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a matter in in a particular matter uh, of of following the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have countless examples from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in refuting and correcting mistakes the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in they were a, there was a, a group of them they say kunna uh kunna uh hadithan fil islam wa kama qal that we were new to islam and we asked the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to make for us that alan what to make for us a tree that we can hang our weapons on that we could seek get blessings from this because they were new to islam they they still had aspects of jahiliyyah that they were removing from themselves because they didn't know the hukum they didn't know the ruling so they said uh you know we were new to islam and we asked the prophet ya rasulullah aj'al lana that alan wa kama lahum that alan wa the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said subhanallah ila akhir hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they they wanted a tree like the mushrikun because they had a that alan wa they had a an idol that they you know hung their weapons on for blessings before they fought so these sahabi radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in because they were new to islam they didn't know the hukum and they asked the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam for this this is major this would be if, if for us we would have no excuse if we asked to do something like this seeking blessings a baraka or uh you know from a tree to get blessings this is a shirk the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded by subhanallah he didn't leave their mistakes but he corrected them and he said this is what the people of Musa said to him and i forgot the rest of the hadith and and, and it's tafsir of an ayat as well and the point being uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said let tabi'una sunnah man kana qablakum at the end of the hadith he said you will follow the way of those who came before you and in another narration let tabi'una sunnah man kana qablakum hudwa al-qudhati al-qudha hatta law dakhalu jawra al-dhab la dakhaltumuhu the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said you would follow the way of the people came before you uh even if they went into the hold of a lizard uh you would follow them and then in the end they said who are they ya rasulullah said the jews and the christian the point being the habita fillah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam corrected mistakes this is the madhab of the salaf of this ummah and this is more precious to us than the popularity of the people and so you have to fear allah and you have to seek knowledge and you have to refute mistakes when when they come not to embarrass people not to belittle people but because the haq is more valuable to you than batil and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success and forgive me for any mistakes i've made and rectify our condition in affairs and bless us all with amal nafirah kan tayyibah wa amal mutaqabbal sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad